Hey everybody, this is Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Reliance School here in the great Commonwealth of Kentucky. I don't know what got into me today when I got dressed, but I'm Mr. Brown today, brown pants and brown shoes and brown shirt. However, what we wanna do in this video is go over some compass issues that we see our beginning land nav students have on a regular basis. So we're gonna correct those for you today. And I'm thinking this will be a part one and then in part two, we'll go over some issues that some more of our advanced students have issues with in hopes that we can help you. So Mr. Tracy Trimble is the gentleman who teaches our land navigation courses. And I have gone into every one of his classes and I'm continuing to learn each and every time as well. One of the things that I had trouble with, and quite frankly, I still have trouble with it, and I notice a lot of our students do too, is basically how to hold the compass. In essence, the compass needle that is inside the housing should rotate freely. And so there's a couple ways to hold the compass. One is the cheek hold where you put it close to your cheek and you look right down the siding mechanism. And the other one is to do a center hold where you're using the center of your body as a means of lining yourself up. Now, what I mean by people have trouble with it is that more often than not, and I'll get profile so you can see this, I'll see a lot of people sitting and holding their compass like this in a way that there's quite a bit of angle here. This needs to be level. One of the things that I do to help myself is I make sure that I rotate it, and when I rotate it, that needle should continue pointing north as I rotate. If I hold it like this and rotate it, that needle is not doing what it's supposed to do. So I make sure that my needle is pointing north, I rotate the housing so that the needle stays where it is, and then I know that whether I'm holding it center hold or whether I'm holding it cheek hold, that the compass is gonna work correctly. Number two thing that I see a lot of folks talking about on social media and people querying us on social media about how to handle themselves with land navigation is never, ever, ever use your phone as a compass. Now, most of them will come with a compass feature and there's any number of compasses that you can download and utilize those apps. It is not my recommendation that you ever utilize them to depend upon them. They might give you a general sense of direction, but what I wanna do is show you how two phones that are exactly the same phone, these are iPhone 6s, one is mine and one is my wife's, we're gonna show you how different they are. So for example, on this phone of mine, you'll see 275 degrees, and on my wife's phone, holding in the same direction, 290 degrees. Now let me tell you right now, 15 degrees is a huge difference when you're trying to utilize it for navigation. Now this last one that we're gonna share for Compass 101, the basics of fixing some of these issues, I don't really have a good name for it, but I'm gonna call it quality control or basically situational awareness. And that is, there's a lot of things that go with this. Here's a good one. You look at your compass and you know the red arrow on your compass points north, but when you line it up with your meridian lines, you've actually got the black line, which is pointed south, lined up with the meridian lines. Another example would be, let's say that you're looking at a map and you're looking at this hollow that is behind me. and me just looking at this, I can see that this hollow is somewhere around that 30, 40 meter mark. And I look on my map to see if that hollow is on the map, and I see one that I think it is, or I think I might be, but that hollow is about 300 meters long. Well, you should just make sure you understand the scale of your map in comparison to how it relates to the real world. Now, Tracy teaches that in our Land Nav 2 class, what we call Terrain Association where you, in essence, understand what's going on with the real world. It's not hard at all to walk across a forest service road or some of that nature and know where you are. It's a little bit more difficult knowing when you're looking at a hollow, a valley, a hill, and whether you're looking at the same thing on the map. So just be aware of those things and get out and practice. Take a map, lay it out on the earth, look at a hollow, and make sure you're understanding what it is that you're looking at. So those are the three things that it seems comes up more often when we get emails or messages on social media or we start discussing it when Tracy's teaching class. 
Again, the first one is not holding your compass correctly. Center hold, cheek hold. Make sure that they're level so that the needle will stay pointing north when you rotate the actual housing of the compass. Number two, the compasses that come with your cell phone are just inherently inaccurate, so do not utilize them as a means of dependence. You do not want to depend upon your cell phone as a navigation device. And number three, make sure that you get a good understanding of basically your situation and where you are. You know, you should know where the sun's coming up and that's east and it sits in the west. So if you're taking a shot that is in the direction where the sun came up this morning, it should be somewhere towards that 90 degrees. It shouldn't be something that's 270 going the opposite direction. These are all just situational wear issues and simple issues that you can fix to help you get outside more. As always with Nature Reliance School, come on, join in. Let's learn together.